Welcome. Let's begin. You'll find a comfortable seat, close the eyes, and float the heart and float the gaze into the heart space. We're gonna begin with the hands together in front of the heart in Anjali Mudra. This mudra is typically seen at the very beginning or the end of our yoga classes. And it's a symbol of bringing all currents of our energy together. The masculine, the feminine, the inhalation, the exhalation into this place known for truth, joy, and love. And when you're in that place in you and I'm in that place in me, we are one. The divine offering of Anjali Mudra has a science behind it. It's when we press the thumbs into the breastbone that we activate the vagus nerve. And the vagus nerve is known for generating goodness and compassion in our system. When this nerve is activated, it sends meditative rhythms into our brain, making our thinking truly come from the heart. So as we get quiet and still at the very beginning of our practice, just take a moment to witness what's present for you. Why are you practicing today? And can you name your truest intention right now in this moment? As you name that intention, or either rest in the intention of nothing, just a sweet openness, may that energy of our intention today motivate us to practice. And we can open the space with the sound of Om, and we'll do it together as we inhale deep, please. practice today benefit all beings everywhere. Go ahead and open the eyes, let the light come back in, and we're going to transition onto our hands and knees. And with the shoulders directly over the wrist and the hips directly over the knees, we're going to come into a twisted puppy pose, reaching the right arm high to the sky. And from the heart center, extending out through the fingertips, nice big reach. On the exhale, floating the right arm underneath, right ear towards the mat. And we'll extend the left arm either towards the top of the mat to elongate the left rib cage. Or if you need more of a heart opening, you can take the right hand and wrap it around the small of the back. And we'll just take a moment here to get still. And again, float your awareness into the heart space here. You're breathing in and out of the chest. Slow, steady breaths. When you're ready, release. Coming back up to tabletop. Just a few rounds of cat cow. Inhale, lifting the chin in the front of the spine. Exhale, round the the spine, pull the chin in towards the chest. Could one more time, inhale, look up, gaze up. Exhale, round the spine, look in. Good, left arm reaches high to the sky. So really feel from the center of the heart, you're extending the hands, the fingertips, big reach. And then we're gonna float the hand underneath the right shoulder, left ear towards the mat. Same thing, reach the arm towards the top of your mat to get nice and long in the rib cage. And then if you'd like to open up the chest more, float the arm around the small of the back. And then get quiet and still with your breathing. You're looking for an energy of your intention. So if there's more love in your life, focus on the energy of empathy, the energy of compassion. Go 
good when you're ready. Slowly unwind. And we'll make our way into our first downward facing dog. So spread the fingers wide. You should feel the hands take on a really generous quality. Shoulders back and down. Slight bend in the knees, lifting the hips up and back. We'll come into our first twist with the left hand grabbing the outer edge of the right heel. You can either stamp the heel down onto the fingertips if you're feeling flexible today. Press the right hip back. And then just breathe into the side of the body that feels the most contracted. That's where you want to send the light of your breath. Good. Slowly release. Downward facing down. And we're going to reach the left leg high to the sky. So from fingertips to toe tips, big stretch as the breath comes in. On the exhale, draw the knee in towards the nose. So you're contracting the body. And then on the inhale, expand and lift the leg high. Let's do that two more times. Exhale, contract. Good. Inhale, expand. Exhale, contract. Good. Inhale, expand. We're going to float the foot through, and dropping the back knee down, but and pulling the hands towards the back of the mat, so there's a big broad opening across the chest. On the inhale, reach the arms up high to the sky, good, and then very mindfully drawing the hands in towards the heart space once again, and finding that Anjali Mudra as you close the eyes. And then feel the energy of your intention from the very center of your heart emanating out. It might even put a smile on your face. Good hands come down. And we'll press back into downward facing dog. Good job. And so this time we're going to take the right hand and grab a hold of the left heel or the left ankle. If you can hook your fingers under the heel, then press the left hip back, and there's a nice twist in the upper thoracic spine. The shoulders rolling away from the ears. And then with the lips co closed, one deep breath. And exhale, release. And we'll lift the left leg high to the sky. You feel that extension from the hips to the knee, the knee to the toe tips. Exhale, draw the knee in towards the nose. Good. Inhale, expand. Exhale, contract. Let's go one more time. Expanding. And then contracting as you float the foot through. Back knee drops down. Good. And big wide reach from the heart center out. Reach the fingertips towards the back of the mat. Feel that opening across the chest. And then inhale, sweep the arms up high to the sky. Very mindfully drawing the thumbs in towards the chest. And just take a moment to feel the energy of your intention. Thought by thought, choice by choice, coming back to that place where you want to put your focus, put more love, put more attention. We'll bring the hands down towards the mat. Downward. Good. Inhale forward into plank pose. Good. As you press through the heats, feel the heart trajecting past the fingertips. You can either lower down knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Good. On the inhale, come up onto the belly. Untuck the toes. Lift up. Jungasana or upward facing dog. And then pressing back into child's pose or downward facing dog. Good, opening the mouth, exhale. Good, when you're ready, big toes come to touch, right leg lifts high to the sky. On the exhale, float the foot through in between the hands. Real this time, we're gonna keep the back knee lifted and moving into galloping horse, arms alongside the ears. Good. And then we're gonna clasp the hands behind the sacrum. Without losing that focus in the feet, inhale, lift the chest, and feel that nice opening across the collarbones. Good. And if you want to open even more, you can bend the elbows, place the thumbs on the sacrum, squeeze the elbows together, and once again, use your feet here to find that clarity in the heart. Good. 
One breath. And exhale, lower down. Good. Downward facing dog. Good. Inhale forward into plank. Chaturanga. Inhale upward facing dog. Strong legs, open toes. Downward facing dog. Good. Left leg will lift high. Good. Left foot floats through. So with the back knee lifted, you can take the feet and just slide them slightly wider than the hips for a nice strong foundation. And we'll lift up into galloping horse whenever you're ready. So the arms go alongside the ears. Good, press firmly through the back leg and really feel from the heart center extending out past the fingertips. And then we're gonna clasp the hands behind the sacrum, non-dominant finger this time if you can. And then on the inhale, slowly lift up into high lunge. And really focusing on the heart center. Whatever you seek in life, if it's more love, good. bring that compassion into the body. Bring that kindness into the eyes. And maybe even go a little bit further with the thumbs on the sacrum. Squeeze the elbows together. Good. And just expand more than you thought was possible. Good. Hands will come down. And downward facing dog. Inhale, forward into plank, press through the heels, reach to the heart, chaturanga. Good, upward facing dog. Good, and we're going to come onto the knees, press back into child's pose. Third eye towards the earth. Good, and just take a moment here to get quiet and still. We want the thinking to turn off and go directly into the heart. So focus on the breathing. There's no rush. Go ahead and come up. We're going to transition onto our sit bones and extend our legs out long, please. Good. So if you notice that you're rounding in the spine, you can always sit on a pillow to lift the sit bones up slightly higher. And if it's uh, more comfortable, you can place a bolster or a pillow under the knees. Good. So today, internal rotation of the thighs. You should feel a widening of the sit bones, and if not, you can always Take your hands back and lift the fleshy part so that there's a true connection of the sit bones to the earth. We're gonna reach the arms up high to the sky. Go ahead and draw the hands very mindfully into the heart. And just take a moment here to just acknowledge if there's any resentment in the heart, if you're attracting angry people around you, just know that intentions have the ability to cure that. We don't see this life as a burden, but we see it as an opportunity to come alive. And really choosing consciously what it is you're bringing into the heart space. So even if you can't name it, at least feel expansion as you breathe. And then we'll twist towards the left. Left elbow on top of the right thigh. And then really use that elbow to root down so that you can spin the heart towards the thumbs and the thumbs towards the heart. The shoulders away from the ears. But then with the left thumb still pressing into that vagus nerve, into the breastbone, you can reach the right arm up. And feel that extension even further. Toes are flexing back towards the face, nice strong legs. Center of the heart is soft. Reach the arms up high to the sky. And draw the hands in. And once again, just name consciously your intention and then let that be the motivation for the practice. Go ahead and we'll twist to the left now. Right elbow on top of the left thigh. But keep the heels rooting, toes flexing back. 
And as you use that bone on bone action as a point of stability, you can shift the heart towards the thumbs and the thumbs towards the heart. And maybe even gaze over the left shoulder as, as the shoulders move away from the ears. And we'll extend the left arm high to the sky. Good. So really choosing the energy that you want to govern in your life. One that feels bright, one that feels free. And then breathe that into your system here. One more breath. the arm of the pipe. Good. Hook the thumbs, lift the chest. Good. Legs are nice and strong. You engage the quadriceps so much that the heels are lifting. Good. Placing the hands down towards the mat. And we'll bring the center of the feet together. And this time, hands behind the backs of the hips. Scoot the sit bones closer to the heels. Good. And we'll walk the hands forward. Pressing the hands into the mat so that the sit bones become even more grounded. And if you can drop your forearms onto the mat, see if you can take the very center of your heart and traject it forward. And just imagining that whatever energy you're putting out is coming back to you on your next inhale. Drop the head, relax the mind. Slowly start to come up. And one more twisting posture. We're going to take the left heel on the outside of the right hip. Right foot comes of the outside of the left knee. And we'll place the left hand down at the base of the spine. Or I'm sorry the right hand down, left arm reaches up. We're gonna to twist to the right. So feel both sit bones connected to the mat. And from that place of stability, rise up, open heart. Exhale, twist even deeper. Good, you're pushing the right hip forward. Exhale, slowly release and counter twist, and just bowing in. And then we'll change the cross of the legs. So right foot is on the outside of the left hip, left foot on the outside of the right knee. Good left hand at the base of the spine and we'll reach the arm up high to the sky. Find the length in the, in the spine. Good. And then exhale, bring the elbow down Good. and twisting towards the left. So you're pressing this left hip towards the front of your mat. So the twist happens right where the shoulder blades end. By closing the eyes. And generating as much love for yourself as you can. And when you're ready, slowly release. And we'll come into the counter twist. Ready? And we're going to end in a heart meditation. So coming back to the center of our mat. So if you normally have the right leg in front, I'm going to encourage you to choose the less dominant one, left foot in front. Lift this fleshy part of the sit bones, feel the connection, true. I'm going to place the palms down, index finger and thumb together, roll the shoulders back and down. Just take a moment to get silent. Take a moment to get still. And use this meditation here to get your entire body, body humming. You want the body saying yes to whatever intention you decided to set.
five more deep breaths. base of your next exhale, and gently draw the hands together in front of the heart. So setting an intention for your yoga practice is seeking the why beneath the why. Why do I practice? Why do I say what I do? Why do I want what I want? Why do I do what I do? And every time we come to the mat, we feel this exchange happen between us and something much larger than ourselves. May you return to this practice again and again. May you find the clarity that this practice has to offer. The truth, the joy, the love. May you be in that place more consistently and me in my place more consistently so that we both experience the energy of one. Namaste.